Hey guys, Little Green Man here along with Chemist for Meanwhile in the Man Cave. And today we are going to be unboxing something that I got for Christmas. And it is the um, sword from Lord of the Rings that Frodo has from Lord of the Rings. But Bilbo started out with it in The Hobbit and he passed it on down to Frodo. So I'm curious to see uh, how this looks. And it's how... Sting. Yes, Sting. No. Which, uh, that's what Frodo announces it as he's about to kill Smeagol or Gollum or however you want to call him, but uh, let's get this thing opened. The wait for a while, it arrived, it arrived late. Yes. It's it supposed is. to be here before Christmas, and obviously it was not. Yeah. So. Drum roll, please. Oh, oh, okay. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's the scabbard. I didn't expect it to come with the. Uh, I thought it was just going to be like. Just the sword. Oh man, it's heavy. Like the handle weighs it down on one whole side. Wow. Cool. Party Poison's joined us. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I'm not sure what material is on here, but I'm I'm thinking it's a sort of pleather. Or slate. I think it's suede. Suede, yeah. Mm -hmm. And you can see where they are. Uh, stitched on here. It looks very nice. Just the case alone so far. There's also a belt looks like on yes, this head. Yes, yes. You could, you could use it for cosplay or if they'll let you in with it. But, yeah. but costume is so cool. Okay. Just, just so far. Let's pull it out. I don't want to rip it out and slice something. Yep. Oh, cool. Got it's hobbit side. It. Yes. Hobbit sized. I mean. It looked. It looked so much bigger in the movies compared to them. Well, they're they're small. I know that's that's. It's pretty cool. It's got a nice. It is actually engraved. Mm-hmm. Now. Just gonna polish up the blade a little bit. Yes. Uh, we'll get some detail there. Wow. Pretty cool. Oh, and uh, Party Poison has grabbed a belt. We can actually see if a belt will actually fit in there. Let's look at the actual hilt here. Oh, yeah. Nice. Engraved as well. Yes. Very that pretty blade. Some, did that one come oiled? I don't know. Did it? I don't know if you guys feel a little bit of oil on it. We'll have to wipe clean it up a little bit. Yes. Now, what I'm wondering is if it glows when uh, when goblins come by. Yeah, we'll have to test that. If yeah. anybody knows any goblins, yeah, um, send them over and we'll see if that works. We'll test it out. Well, I'm here and it's not glowing. <laughs> uh, it's true, true, yeah. true poison. <laughs> All right, so uh, the blade itself is not like sharpened. You'd have to sharpen it yourself if you want it like to look like you know like real. Yeah. Even though it does look real by itself, like but, like you're probably more likely to get it into a cosplay when it's dull, though. Yes. So <laughs> just. Yes, it's. We uh, cleaned it off a little bit, and it's yeah. shinier than last time. You yeah. could see a bunch of reflections in it. It's a very nice. Bit. It's got a nice heft to it too. Yes, it, the, like the handle itself is heavier than the actual blade. Same with the scabbard. Yeah. That part weighs it down through the front, like. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Super it's uneven on weight. Yeah. That's cool though. I liked it. Oh like... yeah, I really like it. All right, Party Poison is going to see how this thing fits into a belt. You would need a really thin belt in order for it to fit because, you know. I own a lot of belts, and this is the thinnest one I have. So, and it's the only one that fits. All right. And still, it's kind of tight. Yes. But still, it goes in. Yeah. Looks like the cat's going to grab your belt down here. Yeah. <laughs> you can try. There you go. Cool. All Don't right, so we'll go on to a belt. For your, all your Frodo and Bilbo, Bilbo impersonations. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right, well, this is a pretty darn cool. Now you need a display for it, like Party Poison yes. has for her uh, katana. Right. This is very cool. I am. It was worth the wait. Completely satisfied with this. Yes, it's amazing. The detail on it is incredible. And I'm, I'm pretty, I'm pretty into Lord of the Rings, so I'm, I'm I was really excited about this. Yeah, because at Christmas all you had uh, got to unwrap was a uh, picture of it. So. Yeah. 
overall a very nice piece. Uh, if you were looking for uh, something to, you know, get a, a nice Lord of the Rings collection going, cosplay, costume, uh, I strongly recommend it. It's very nice uh, for display, you know, all the, all the other purposes. It's just nice little details so on much it. detail, yeah. And it's a nice heft to it, too. Yep. All right, guys. I want to thank you guys for tuning in. Come back for the next episode of Meanwhile in the Man Cave. Talk to you guys later.